this next contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the RWA Triple Crown Championship. Introducing first is the challenger. He comes in at a weight of 142 pounds. He hails from the city of Brooklyn Love. Well, after defeating Zach Alexander in a best of seven series, culminating with a ladder match, Mike Montero is going to use his championship opportunity here at Legacy and try to defeat Chris Sterling for the Triple Crown Championship. And might I add, Chris Sterling, now the longest reigning Triple Crown Champion in the history of RWA some five plus months now and going. Mike Montero, previously the longest reigning Triple Crown Champion. So uh, a story in itself right there. And introducing his opponent, he comes in at a weight of 227 pounds. He hails from the Bronx, New York. He is your Triple Crown Champion. Put your hands together for the revelation, Chris Sterling! And the champ is here, to steal a phrase. Led to the ring by Leonardo Chambers. They've had a unique relationship as of late. Chambers providing Sterling with that, that extra little something, giving him that edge. And also counteracting Roberto Abruzzi at ringside here. Also surrounded in a little bit of controversy. Needs to be focused, the game face is on. A lot of uh, speculation that this could be Roberto Abruzzi's last legacy. A number of health issues have kept him away from the RWA in recent months, and he wants one more run at the top, and this is his chance in, in helping Mike Montero to the top as well. Well, we are certainly going to see a tremendous matchup here today in RWA Legacy 5. These two men, like two bulls in the middle of the ring, they are just face to face, neither one backing down. Montero clearly outsized, but never underestimate the heart of a champion. Certainly the underdog, but I don't think he'd have it any other way. Him and Zach Alexander were the underdogs going into the match with the SAT. This, no different. Underway in this Triple Crown Championship match. The last championship match of the night coming up next. The main event, the steel cage that everybody's been waiting for. All on elbow reversed. Sterling muscling over Mike Montero. Montero's going to have to be just a little bit quicker, just a little bit smarter than Revelation. I mean, holding the RWA Triple Crown Championship for five months, I mean, shows the brain power of Chris Sterling. He 
he's taking on a, he's taking on a variety of different opponents. Certainly has everyone from Antonio Atama to Sean Lee to J.P. Hansen. The list goes on and on. Mike Montero much quicker than Chris Sterling. But Sterling, despite his size, can move just as well. well maybe not just as well. But surprisingly well. Come to a standoff. Not likely to succeed, I'd imagine. Possibly an ace up his sleeve. Very nice. And it says a takeover. There it is. I was waiting for it. Momentum right there taking Revelation over. Montero's on a roll here. Some chops in the corner there from Mike Montero. He's a needle of God. German suplex. Throwing over for the cover now. Montero again firing back now on Revelation. Rolls over the back there. Little skin the cat by Montero. Look at that. Cactus clothesline over the top rope. Of course, Sterling idolizing Mick Foley and his homage to Cactus Jack right there. Snap suplex on the outside. And if this continues, it's not going to bode well for Mike Montero. He's not going to beat him on the outside. He's not going to beat him at the power game. He is really going to have to work at trying to get Chris Sterling off of his feet as much as humanly possible. Gut wrench suplex right there. Sterling, he knows he's got an uphill battle as far as breaking the spirits of Mike Montero. He will continue to wear him down with moves like that. Even a pinfall, albeit a two count, still wears down Montero, forcing him to kick out time after time. Hard kicks to the back. now back and forth in the center of the ring. And that right there, that might be the ticket right there. Going for a sleeper hold. Needs to get those legs around him. Really needs to get those legs around him. He's on his tippy toes right now. He, he can't with the momentum. Continue to stay like that. Chris Sterling down to a knee, though. Uh, 
Um, in, a, in a normal circumstance, having that extra body weight on top of Sterling uh, would be a plus, but I don't know that Montero has enough body weight on him to uh, even help the matter. The sleeper hold is going to have to be effective by itself. And up until momentarily it was. Chris Sterling starting to get back to his feet now. He's, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. The, the energy that the crowd gives off. Very, very smart by Chris Sterling there. Wrapping the legs around, wrapping Mike Montero's legs around his own body. Look at this sunset flip. Chris Sterling not going down though. Spins out, drops the elbow drop. Very nice. Sterling there showing some frustration. Thought he had Montero put away. And now a bear hug attempting to squeeze the life out of Montero. You see him bringing that body closer to him. Does not want to create any kind of separation and allow Montero the opportunity to escape. there very nice Chris Sterling using Mike Montero's momentum against him hits that double forearm into the chest still only good enough for a two count now he's going to try hooking the leg and no Montero brings him over surprise revelation right there it's a big punch to the head Take that for your troubles. It's a big headbutt. Pulls him into the ropes, though. What is this looking? Might be looking for the Angels' wings here. Mind crush perhaps, no. Look at this. What a submission hold that is. Needs to get the arm up around the head though. Possibly easier said than done. Well, and use the size advantage right there to help him escape. Reverse. Beautiful suplex. Looked like a version of the Regal Plex. Both men out, center of the ring. Montero landing on his head. Revelation trying to collect his thoughts here. Valuable time being wasted. do this rubbing the forearm across the face of Montero now he's gonna get that running start Montero had it scouted misses the splash in the corner does Montero revelation comes running in Montero puts the boot up puts the knee up this time looks like he hit that one-footed drop kick there knocking him into the buckles Montero stands ready in the corner. What's he have in mind here? Hard forearm shot to the chest. 
more coming up perhaps. Loses all of his body weight there to knock him down. Two. Trying to chop the tree down is Montero. Neckbreaker from that position. Very difficult to. Barely gets the shoulder up. Montero definitely thought he had him. And Sterling rolling to the outside now. I said earlier, Montero does not want to fight him out on the outside. Double knees on the outside of the ring. This time a different outcome for Montero. But he's going to have to get him back in the ring to pin him. Or else he is not going to be the next Triple Crown Champion. The title cannot change in a count out victory. Montero going for that sharpshooter. The sharper image turns him over. I can't believe he got him turned, but he did. Revelation not one to submit. I think he's probably done it once in his career. Mike Montero really needs to put the pressure on the lower back, as you just saw. Revelation pushed him off with the feet using that superior leg strength. Montero circled the ring now and going up to the top. One would assume he's at home up there. Might be looking for those double knees again. Gets caught. Oh! What is this? I believe that's a modified octopus stretch. That could be it for Montero. He fell right into Revelation's hands right there. Might not have the leg, the leg in there though. I'm, not, I'm really not sure. The legs around the head. I know that he has the hands clasped. Really can't tell from this vantage point. Effective nonetheless. Is that that hand drops one more time? And this one's over. Not yet. Montero biting his way free. Well, this is for the Triple Crown Championship. I mean, you have to do what you have to do. Can't say I blame him. Better watch out though, he could be disqualified by referee Steve Mosher. That would certainly be a client shame. I think he's Revelations measuring him for the crack shot, but nobody there. Hard clothesline. See that turned Montero inside out right there. A lot of back and forth action between these two competitors. As he sent him up for he's pointing to the corner. Chambers just waved it off. Like a runner coming from second base heading towards home. He's been waved off. Don't go home. But Revelation still pointing towards that corner. What's he looking for here? Maybe looking for that moonsault. Yes, he has done a moonsault before. Rather well, I might add, for a man of his size. 
And when he hits it, it's over. Taking a little bit of time steadying himself. And oh my goodness, nobody home. If he hit that, the match would have been over for sure. Mike Montero trying to get up to the top rope as quickly as possible. Chambers pounding away on the mat, trying to get Revelation to come to his senses. Big splash off the top rope, two, three. New and we champion. have a new RWA Triple Crown Champion. Mike Montero has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Revelation taking the belt from Mr. Abruzzi and now Mr. Abruzzi and Montero hugging one another. They have done it together here at RWA Legacy. Revelation handing the title to Mike Montero. Very gracious uh, changing of the guards here. And Zach Alexander, former Suicide Kings. Former multi-time tag team champion Zach Alexander and Mike Montero known as the Suicide Kings. They went their separate ways because they accomplished all they could as a team. They had their best of seven. Montero came out on top, but today they both can call themselves champions. I think Montero's facial expression says it all here. Truly overcome with joy. And it looks like Roberto Abruzzi is looking for a handshake from Leonardo Chambers. Oh! Well, that was uncalled for, and now he's running for the hills. And that's Mrs. Abruzzi at ringside. She is not happy. And who could blame her? What a classless individual he is. Well, you'd expect no less from somebody like Leonardo Chambers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's time for the main event we've all been waiting for. Atama Perez inside the steel cage. Let's take one more trip down memory lane and look at what brought us here today. fact of the matter is this, Jose, you're the past, and right now, you're looking at the future of professional wrestling.
you might outsmart. After that, it's a beat down that, trust me, will not be a letdown. Atama, your ass is mine, brother. July 6th, it will be you and I at Legacy. Bet on it, chump. <laughs>